You have to say it in this Australian accent. It's really crazy to think that just a week and a half ago we didn't know each other because all of us are very friendly now. Working in teams is probably one of the most important things on any project. We all come from really diverse backgrounds, so we bring a lot of different experiences, a lot of different perspectives to the table. Under chapter seven, two people present twice a week to make sure that we're staying on track and actually getting results. They do a mini presentation and then I and Greg Rostin usually sort of lob questions at them. Anything that looks back in time and says um, settlements with the government. They'll say, look at this interesting trend. And you'll sit there and go, I didn't notice that at all. Doing a presentation really helped me think of what's really important. What are our objectives? They're questioning the data a little bit more when they first got it. It was like, I got this data, I'm done. And then Mark and I would ask questions and they would think about it a little bit more and now they're taking the steps to ask the questions on their own. Can we assume that there's going to be policy change? The first thing is just gathering everything that we can so we know what, what possible metrics we have. And then the second step is sieving through those and saying, what are the useful metrics? I'd say there have been both positive and negative surprises with respect to the availability of information. In some cases, we've been able to get incredibly rich data. In others, it's more difficult. There's been a lot of that, like, banging my head against the keyboard, like trying to find where everything is. If I scroll down... The scope of the project is so massive. There's so many things that you can get lost in because one problem leads to another problem, which leads to another problem. It just goes as far back as they have it. If they hit a brick wall or are, you know, sort of treading water a little bit, we try to help them get over whatever the obstacle is. We've made a huge amount of progress. It takes some patience, it takes some looking around, understanding that you may not know going into it what you're going to find, and that's what research is all about, I think. When you come up with something that is either A, what you're looking for, or B, something that's really fascinating, then it's, it, it becomes really engaging and it's becomes something that you really want to become involved with. There'll be that one day where you find just like a mass of data and it's like the most exciting day. Like you've been spending all week trying to find something and then finally you get this like gold mine. It's been a really good experience so far. It feels good to be around people who also care about the purpose of this project. In every state, they have a category for like... We what? have been collaborating with Steve Ballmer and his team on this effort. He's got a few people up in the state of Washington. And so there was on the horizon this visit by Steve. Each one of them will present twice to Steve Ballmer. And I think that might be a little bit tougher audience even than Mark and I are. So this is a graph. I think that that's going to be a little bit more stress than sort of the informal presentations here. But I think it'll be really cool to have the opportunity to present to Steve Ballmer. A week before we were just like, oh, like, he's coming, like what do we do? We ran through it a couple of times with Mark and Greg and we were here till two in the morning. We went through every little thing like, oh, that period there, take it out. What can you do to make this better? What can he ask you? We were like worried he's gonna be like this scary guy. It's like we read a bunch of things about him on Wikipedia. <laughs> we'll see, it'll be fine. <laughs>